Hey you, how's it going? My name is Ruby Price and welcome to a week ago. Oh, so I've just had a delivery. Yeah. Uh, and if my prediction is correct, it should be something particularly interesting. I think it's what it, I think it is. You ready? Hmm. Good old strange bones telling it like it is. So in case you aren't aware of how bad my attention span actually is, I went upstairs literally just to put clothes on because I put the kettle on and I was about to make some food. I ended up jamming to strange bones on base for about half an hour. <laughs> oh God, I'm a terrible human being. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess now I'm gonna make some food. My driving lesson has been postponed until tomorrow, which is supposed to be today, uh, due to personal circumstances, not mine, um, instructors. So, that's something to look forward to tomorrow. It's a shame, really, because the weather's fucking great for February. See my rant from last week, so we could go, which is live now, coincidentally. Ah. Uh, the temperature has dropped very low, so now it's fucking freezing. I checked my weather app, and apparently it's supposed to snow on Monday next week, which will make my driving lesson really fun if that is the case. <laughs> Who's ready for a song that I've never actually heard before? I think. I, I might have done, I don't know. Don't care. 
Yeah, so basically my camera died and I've just left it charging really, which is why there's not really been a lot from today. Just thought I'd clarify that because in the last couple of weeks there have been some very short days um, with not much content going on, which is how it sometimes works. I'm a little bit worried that I don't have a video idea for this week. But you know, for future reference, uh, if there's anything you want me to make a video about, it doesn't have to be trans related, ideally it won't be trans related, um, just you know, for variety's sake and stuff, uh, leave it in the comments below because I'm always open to suggestions. It is my rearranged driving lesson today because it's Tuesday. Yeah, so the sore throat that I talked about last week doesn't seem to have gone away. But it also felt like it had. If that makes any sense? So, in terms of driving today, I think the plan is... Well, I say I think. I've looked at the book. But what I'm getting from it is it's like, so far I've learnt a lot of the basic manoeuvres and now it's just sort of sticking them together to do more complicated things. There's a lot in there about mirrors and signals and stuff like that. Or... Um, setting off from behind a stationary vehicle and all that kind of stuff so yeah that's what I'm gathering from the book that I'm doing and to continue that section just finished my driving lesson yay I think I did really well today yeah uh, we were focusing a lot more on mirrors and stuff and I had to pass a car I got passed by a few cars as well anyway back to the house grind I guess I did get a long list of things I had to do today. It's it's the boy that comes up with all the ideas that I steal. The the Tom Scar boy. The boy. That boy. Yeah. Now I know what you're thinking. It's Wednesday. That means Ruby will probably do some sort of rushed. Ah, it's Wednesday. I'm off to work. And then come back and be like, oh, that shift was, insert how the shift was here. Gonna make some food. And then working tonight. And then come back from work and be like, ugh. Sorry, I didn't vlog much today. And you'd be wrong. Because today, I have a day off work. So, me and my friends are doing something. I'm not entirely sure. What the finalised plan is. It was between two options and no one has really spoken in the group chat since, so yeah. It was raining earlier. Absolutely pissing it down. Tell me how the fuck that is normal. How? Just how? Fucking hell. Anyway, so there is a lot more of a plan um now for tonight. So yeah, magic rock tap, not the brewery. I imagine they're both in a similar place. Yeah, I don't know, never been. But I've been recommended the cola bottles. Like, bottles of cola, not, you know, like, Harry Bear sweets. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're going out for an, we're going out for a drink, you know. But you can have some Harry Bear. <laughs> I'd just be... <laughs> that'd be a great night out. I do like Harry Bear cola bottles, to be fair. Like, they are really, really nice. Although, I do, th I think I prefer the, um... If we're talking about like the actual colour bottle ones, um, it's like, I think the cherry ones are the pinnacle. Uh, the, like the cherry tang fast sticky ones. Uh, then you've got the bubble gum. Then you've got like the regular ones. And then you've got uh, tang fast stick uh, colour bottles. Hashtag not spawn. Although it would be cool if I could get sponsored by Harry Bear. Yeah. Juicy pale ale, so I want a juice and pineapple juice. I have no idea if you want to grab it. A week after? Yeah. 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 You, you know, get your bar out of my boots. <laughs> that space is reserved. Cheers. Thank you. Hi, buddy. Um, Hi, buddy. Free Gary Glitter. <laughs> Michael Jackson did nothing wrong. <laughs>
<laughs> well, now you regret that. <laughs> so, Thursday is the new Wednesday in the sense that I'm working two shifts today. Other than that, it's still Thursday. Or Thor's Day, as someone put in the comments. I did know that, but, you know, Day of Thurs just sounded funnier at the time. Yeah, anyway. Happy Chris Hemsworth Day. So whilst I was at work, I got a hook for a song stuck in my head, like an original song. And basically I'm just kind of hoping that I can make something go with it, because I thought it was a really good hook, yeah. I don't really know what kind of way to approach it really, because if it is as good as my initial feeling about it is feeling, I think that's the way to phrase it, I'm not sure if I want me singing on it or not. We'll just have to see how it develops, I guess. But like I said earlier, I'm working tonight, so should be fun. Especially to say that my mum's coming in as well. Not to work to, as a customer. And yeah, just adds to the level of stress. So I just got back in the shop because we had to get some milk. And at the corner of my eye, whilst I was queuing up, I saw a packet of mini eggs. I thought, ooh, I haven't had mini eggs in ages. I'll, I'll get mini eggs. And uh, is it just me, or are these getting smaller? They're definitely smaller. Bloody capitalism. It's like Freddo's. Used to be 10p, maybe even 5p. And used to be like pretty thick and quite large actually. And now they're more expensive, they're like 30p now or whatever. Um, and they're thinner and smaller. Bloody capitalism. It's ridiculous. They get you hooked on Freddo's for 5p, and all of a sudden they're 35p, and you don't get as many, and you don't get as much chocolate in the actual Freddo. So, so yeah. Pound for a packet of mini eggs. Not actually that many mini eggs in the packet. But it's just bloody typical. And yeah, off to work. Well, that was crazy, for now. It's time for mini eggs, and it's time for coffee. Happy International Women's Day. Ah, that's very red. I was gonna say, do you notice anything different, but then I saw how red my eyebrows were. Oh, wow. I guess that's what you got to deal with if you want them waxing. I can't be asked for plucking on myself. I, I'm just no good at it. I'm no good at keeping up with my own eyebrows. So I just, you know, let them grow out of shape. Feel bad about it for a couple of weeks. Book an appointment to get them waxed. It is a significant improvement though. So yeah, International Women's Day. Uh, a day that for the majority of my life, I didn't really... I felt like I was just sort of looking at it. And then the last couple of years, I've kind of been involved with it, obviously being outwardly trans at that point. And then it wasn't really until last year that I kind of went International Women's Day. That's why. Yeah, I mentioned it when I was filming with Pink News. Um, and I was kind of gutted that they didn't use this clip, but my best friend Chloe, she basically made a appreciation post and yeah that you know just kind of hit home and just sort of yeah it's hard to put into words and quite possibly why they didn't use the clip groups but yeah international women's day is a great way of you know just sort of signal boosting women who are strong who are amazing who are incredible who are beautiful and, yeah, appreciation, appreciating them, stuff like that. And there are so many of those women in my life at the minute, and I'm grateful for every one of them. So, happy International Women's Day. And if you were going to ask when International Men's Day is, it's in November. There is a date. And if you were going to ask, chances are you're one of those people who... I probably don't want watching my videos anyway, so, you know.
Oh, and if your feminism isn't intersectional, you can piss off too. And the last shift for nearly two weeks today. Here we go. Oh, I've been waiting for this uh, week off for ages. Yeah, I've not really got much planned, but it's going to be good and I'm going to plan stuff. And with that shift, that is my work done for a week. So my next shift is back end of March. So my plan for next week is to try and be as social as possible. And today, 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 my copy of Bohemian Rhapsody on Blu-ray turned up, which is good. Brian Singer's an arsehole, as I found out since watching Bohemian Rhapsody for the first time, so that might change my perspective of it, but fucking hell, Rami Malek is just basically Freddie Mercury. And it's an enjoyable movie, so I'll be watching that tonight. Because my mum and Mark haven't seen it, so it's probably best that they do see it. And if they're watching it, I'm watching it too. I cried again. Actually, I cried more watching it this time than I did the first time. Which is kind of strange, but you know. As much of an arsehole as Brian Singer is, that is a good film. The kind of film that makes me want to be in the band again. I miss performing. Probably might have been easier if I hadn't got kicked out of my first one. <laughs> it's all your fault. Yeah. The choice was uh, continue making YouTube videos or stay in the band. And my advice was to continue making YouTube videos because I was getting views. So, like, this is how long ago I'm talking. Like, this was right at the start of my channel. Like, 2000 and. Yeah, so that's how long ago it was. I'm pretty sure no one who's actually watches my content now anyway watched in 2010, so mm. but yeah, I was making music on here. It was honestly god awful, I'm not surprised that they didn't want to be associated with it, but people were telling me to keep doing it, so I did it. And I mean, the band broke up anyway. But, it just makes you think, you know, what might have happened if I hadn't. I mean, me and the bassist kept arguing anyway. It was a proper arsehole. It just makes me sad that I'm not in a band. I could very much join a band. Make music. Take over the world. And retire. Maybe, th maybe three of those four steps. Mm. We'll leave the retirement. I'll just keep doing it till I die. I fucking love music. I miss playing it live. It's the best feeling ever. Being on stage, playing music to people listening. Happy Saturday night. Uh, does anyone recognise this riff? Because I've got it in my head, but I can't place where it's from. Might also be played an octave below, I can't remember. I just... I recognise it, but I don't know where it's from. Yeah. I recognise that one, it's the other one. So, comments if you know it, please. Because it's going to drive me insane if I don't figure out where it's from. I've been and got the CD version, which obviously we get loads of crackles on the vinyl version. So, whilst I make this cup of coffee on a very strangely weathered Sunday morning, by which I mean it was snowing and now it's actually quite sunny. I thought I would just give some clarity to the name of this video, just because, yes it's slightly clickbaity, which you know I'm 
I don't like clickbait, I've made that quite public. And it's also a bit of a distasteful joke, but you know. On Wednesday, obviously, as you've seen, I went out with my friends to Magic Rock. Abby brought along her dog, Shadow. And when I was holding Shadow, if you didn't hear what I said, he had his paw just, you know, down the front of my dress. So that is why this week is called A Week Ago I Got Groped By A Dog. Just thought I would clarify my actions. You know, just in case anyone got the wrong end of the stick with that. But anyway, it's a Sunday, and that means that nothing really is going to happen. But we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't currently have anything planned, but like I say, you never know. You never bloody know. I mean, after last night with uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, I was really feeling in the mood to just, you know, play music all day. So we'll see how that goes. Probably got stuff I need to do. So apparently, black was the memo for today. Yeah, I'm, I got this hoodie at my first ever slam dunk in 2016. And, yeah. I don't wear it that often, because it says fuck. But, you know. Probably not leaving the house today. It is Sunday after all. So I was right about playing guitar. Been playing for about two, three hours now. Yeah, my fingers hurt, so I decided to stop. As expected, went through a load of Queen songs, went through a load of Oasis songs, and then went through my shitty album. Not sure why, but you know. Time for more caffeine. I think I had something like nine or ten coffees yesterday. I was, as far as caffeine's concerned, off my ever-loving tits on this stuff. But yeah. Going for tea now. I think tea is probably the better option because it's less caffeinated and I won't get the jitters. The jitters. The bloody jitters. Here's a question for you all on this rather strange Sunday. Does anyone re watch a YouTube series? Recently, I've gotten massively back into watching. Many a true nerds Fallout 4 survival mode series. Like I'm 22 episodes into 73, and for the most part, about 50 minute long videos. Like even though I've seen it before once, but it's just kind of like I just wanted to watch it again. And yeah, it's just kind of curious. Does anyone else do that? I get a lot of people rewatch like the shorter videos and stuff like comedy sketches or something particularly creative or inspiring and stuff but I'm literally just watching someone play a game that I own does anyone rewatch a week ago? other than me I mean to be fair the point of a week ago really is more for me to just have like a year of my life just if I want to watch a specific thing I can just go back and watch it from like this year the point of a week ago. Hmm. Next week will be halfway through a week ago. Week 26. Because this is week 25. Yeah. Halfway there. It's crazy, isn't it? Like, can you believe I've been doing this? No. Six months. Fucking hell. You've been watching six months of my life. Do you know that? Six months. It's crazy, that. <laughs> and that has been another week. Yeah. But yeah, if you have enjoyed this vlog, uh, do all the generic YouTube stuff. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment. Please leave a comment. Please. As long as it's not one of the bad ones. I've been Ruby Price, and I should see you a week ago. Adios. Bye.